the role process is a global process. It is intended to make things easier for you by making them more global. Before defining each character's identity, you will define their roles. The role each character will occupy in the group she will be part of. Roles will define most of the character's traits, namely her main relationships. Her other relationships will be defined by the character's identity, and it will help define her function and her class. You'll want to start with 12 roles. 12 is the right amount of characters. It allows you to start fast and to establish a continuity if you're planning a sequel or even a saga. If you want more characters, just repeat the process. If you want 18 characters, repeat half of it. If you want 24 characters, repeat the process fully. As you get more familiar with the role character system, you will be able to create new role by combining existing ones. 12 characters will grant you your story with the right balance of diversity and consistency. Once you get more familiar with the system, customization becomes easier. These roles are made to be altered and it will become easier as you compare them. What are the similarities? What are the differences? Which roles seems to have more affinity and which roles could be combined? As a guideline, the closer the roles are, the greater the affinity between characters. 